the lowest point, lowest point, um, I don't know. <laughs> I think my proudest moment, difficult client. Hey, what's your name? What do you do? My name is Frank Wesley Majeni, um, but I go by Frank Wesley at the moment. Um, I do fashion and media, focusing on African inspired clothing, jewelry, and with the media, just like dancing at the moment. Um, what's the first time you tried to start a business? But there's always been ideas. There's always been ideas, but this is probably the first. Yeah. Have you ever tried to sell anything in school, college, university? Okay, so sixth form, I remember I'd dabble with like, I don't know, customised like tops, trainers, stuff like that. I probably, I sold one pair to Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> when else? I think what really triggered this though, was university. Um, do you remember the Shambhala bracelets? When they came out, I thought, oh, this would be a really good way to make some side money, like at uni. Um, so me and my brother decided to order them wholesale and then just maybe try to sell them at uni. Um, it worked with a few, we had a few designs. It was nothing heavy, but it got us a bit of extra change, something small, so it was all right. But what really triggered the path that I'm on now was someone's bracelet broke, it needed refixing. Um, instead of giving them a new one, I thought, let me try to fix it myself. In the process of fixing it, I resequenced it and I thought, oh, I could like sell my own designs. So from there, I think it just rippled from there. Did you have a dream when you were, when you was a kid? I thought I was going to be a football player, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I thought football. I thought football was going to be the way. What's your proudest moment as an entrepreneur? They're, they're like, they're, it's like a series of moments whereby, because as I got into this journey, I hadn't really created any actual jewelry or any, like I'd customized stuff, but as far as the jewelry and the clothing is concerned, I never actually really made like an outfit or a piece of jewelry. So through you, while I was in uni, when I first designed my first like pendant or my first um, bracelet, I'd have to send the design to the manufacturer, then it would come. So that first opening the box and seeing like, my, like something that I've designed and created, like having it tangible there, I think that was a pretty good moment. And then anything that I had visualized and it coming into literally manifestation was pretty good moments because then it turned into outfits if I had a design or something that I want to get from my mind out into the real world. Those are the moments that I'm like, wow, like, okay. What would you say is your strongest character trait? I feel like I'm approachable and I like to approach people. I like having conversations, especially well-rounded conversations or just open conversations with tons of different people. The more I can get from someone, regardless of their energy or what their character is, I, I like to learn from people. So off the cuff, I try to make my character or allow my character to be a bit more open, um, welcoming, approachable, that kind of thing. That's why I try to say my character all round. Yeah. What's the most money you've ever made or lost? Uh, just because it's a bit funny, I lost 180 pound one time, but that was in like in a wallet and I just dropped it, but that's it. But the most I made was probably th like three grand in a day, probably. We'll give you a million pounds, mm -hmm. what do you do with it? See now someone made a very honest comment and I can't not, I would want to tithe as well. I would say that I'd want to tithe as well. After that, um, I would want to invest in my home, Africa, in the best way possible, like Akon type invest in Africa. So I think that's where I'd stop. Anything past that is any, but that would be the, the vision if I got a meal. You know, I've been 10% of the million Yeah, that's calm. That's, I'd, and I'll give more as well. Yeah, because that I feel, I feel like really um, you're setting yourself up if you do something like that to have your entire journey beyond that blessed in more ways than you could maybe preempt. Yeah. Is capitalism good or bad? I, I, I think it depends on, again, the individuals behind businesses or the economy. Someone made a comment before as well, which is ugh, if you have good intentions with what it is you're trying to do, especially if you're a business or um, a person in power because of business, I think it's important to make sure that you're not eating just for yourself or you're not just thinking about yourself. We, we are a world at large, there's communities. So in regards to capitalism, if it's done in a way whereby um, there's a balance a, 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 a human balance, a natural balance, and I think it could, it, it, yes, I think it's the right. way. Um, the most difficult customer you ever dealt with? 
there has been um, a product that someone had ordered one time, it took longer than planned for it to arrive. That then made the customer very upset, which is terrible. But in that, um, it, it triggered me to have to, um, what's the word? Deal with a customer from a position where it was my fault as the business. It was supposed to come on time, it didn't come on time. They're very upset, so it put me on a path where I had to learn how to communicate and manage customers and make sure you do things on time as well. So I think that's the closest thing to something like that. Have you ever been conned or scammed by anyone? In so I was filming something in Uganda one time, like a like a promotional sort like like a mini advert, let's call it that, just to kind of promote some of the clothing and jewelry. Um, I met this director. He could talk. This guy could talk. He sold me a dream. However, his credentials and the stuff that he had done before seemed to be on point. So um, long story short, he wasn't able to deliver at the end of the product. And I just ended up having like tons of raw footage that was unedited because he couldn't deliver. And I've still got the footage to this day and I'm still trying to find a director to put it together for me, but that's the closest thing to con probably. What's been your lowest point as an entrepreneur? How have you dealt with that? There's series, there's moments like that. that it's, it's, I've never had any one single moment, but there's moments where I could be feeling low. And for me, what usually helps me, to the majority, my faith, but to break it down, I like watching inspirational stories from other entrepreneurs. I like watching testimonies as well for my own faith as well. So I get a good, I believe watching other people's narratives help to give you a good picture of what path you're on, even if it's not exactly the same. Um, so I like to watch other people's stories, not just to inspire myself, but to also let me know that whatever it is that you're going through, other people on a similar journey go through it, if not worse. So where you're at now, in those moments, if I feel like um, this thing isn't going anywhere, or maybe I haven't sold anything, or I'm not sure what the next year is gonna hold or whatever, I'll watch stories specific to what my fear may be at the time to help me get some fuel. Okay. okay. <laughs> so your fear kind of inspired the... Yeah, because I hate feeling like that. Mm. And I know that, I, I think I stumbled across while I was at uni, the fact that I'm able to pick myself up in a way when I watch other people's stories, because they're, they're not gonna lie. Plus, there's a Bible verse that I like that says God is no respecter of persons. So if he can do it for that other person, in the same respect, he could do it for me as well. So that's why I like watching other people's journeys. What's your biggest piece Failure, just it not working. Like me getting to my, I meet my maker and he tells me that you had all these gifts and things that you could have used and you did nothing. That scares me. Does business not working out scare you in the same regard? I've grown to get to a point where I've given myself life for this to work regardless, whether it happens now or when I'm 50 or 60. I'm, as far as business is concerned, I'm not worried about it not really happening. I'm more concerned or worried about me not fulfilling my best potential. I could do a business or I could, the business could do well, but as far as I'm concerned as an individual, I may not have lived up to my absolute potential, even if the business is successful. The hardest thing about being an entrepreneur is? Financial management. Because I, I flourish in creative environments. I love to be creative with my hands. I love to be in creative brainstorming sessions, anything to do creative creativity and innovation, stuff like that I'm good with. But when it comes down to literal like logistics of business management and finance management, that's where my flaws are. So where I may be all right in this area, and this is what I've learned over the years, I need to focus more on this area, management, finance management. Otherwise, you'll only go so far if you can't, even if you're the most talented without, let me say, yeah, knowledge of financial management, you'll only go so far. How much money does your business make you? Do you know what? To be absolutely real, it doesn't. It doesn't make money at the moment. Money comes in, but it's not operating at a profit. The stage that I'm at now is just trying to structure it in a way whereby I'm still in research and development, if that makes sense. I've never officially launched. I've always just had an idea for a product. I'll execute it and then put it out for promo, but I've never been like, okay, so look, this is my brand. I'm launching, everything's up for sale. So everything up until this, day has been tried and error with ideas so 
I haven't officially launched to be like, yeah, this is what I'm doing, but it's not really making sales. I'll sell bits and pieces here and there, but it's not profit. What do you think is the biggest mistake most entrepreneurs make? Okay, let me maybe say this. I think I'll give this as my answer. Chase, chasing the money instead of the passion. Yeah, chasing the money. So getting into the business. Of course, you want to make money when you get into business. But personally speaking, I feel like whatever business that you, if you're going to create something from nothing, don't do it just for money. Like I feel like you have to be passionate about it. It would help if you're good at it as well. But I don't think you should do anything just for the money alone. Yeah. Is poverty a choice? No. However, I think it is a mindset. It's a mindset, but I don't think it's a choice either. What inspires you daily? To simplify endless possibilities. The fact that every day is new, anything can happen, especially with the way, I don't know, technology is, social media. You could wake up one day and someone's hit you up because of something that they've seen. Like, so I, I think the fact that even if I'm having a low day, the fact that anything is possible in a day, have you ever taken on debt to get started on Kickstarter? The conception of this business came while I was at uni. So while I was there, I used my student loan to like invest in some of it, but I haven't taken out debt per se now. I've indirectly acquired probably debt through trying to, I don't know, manage the business, but I've never taken anything out specifically for the business. If you become a world leader, mm -hmm. what could you do first? I probably think as long as hard as I'm thinking now, then probably do what someone else said, which is pray, and then work towards, like what I said earlier, the help, helping helping my people in just Africa, I think. I'm passionate about that. Um, what advice would you give, um, or you know, encouraging quotes to aspiring entrepreneurs? Follow your passion, that's a common one. Um, work hard because that just because you're passionate or you're talented about something doesn't mean it's going to work. Work hard and enjoy the journey. A lot of times, and this is something that I've heard as well, the final destination is, is what we've got in mind a lot, but the, the, the journey is just as amazing as the final destination.